Hi, Ken Roberts here. I'm here with another idea of how to build and live a life that counts. Today I'm going to talk just briefly about something that will actually sabotage uh, building and living a life that counts, and then how and what to do about it. And uh, for me, and maybe you can identify with this, one of the things that I've experienced is self-pity. It's one of the biggest temptations in my life and will actually get me off course in building and living a life that counts. When things don't go my way, uh, when things aren't going the way I think they should, I oftentimes have a really big pity party. And in the long run, that doesn't help me at all in building and living a life that counts. So here's three things that I found that has really helped me, and maybe it will help you. Number one is to really practice gratitude. Uh, my wife, Missy, every morning when she gets up, she lists 10, 10 things she's grateful for. And I've learned to do the same thing. You know, we're always aware of what we don't have instead of what we do have. And I find when I start to practice gratitude, I'm so overwhelmed by everything that I already have in my life. It motivates me to go on. The second thing I've learned to do is actually to serve others. You know, self-pity at the root of it is really self-centeredness. And I find when I start doing life that's all about me and it's not going the way that I want, you know, then really self-pity enters into my life. But when that happens and I start serving others, helping in a practical way, sending an encouragement note, calling somebody else on the phone, see how they're doing, it gets me out of self-pity. That's helped me a lot. And the third thing really is learning to take action. You know, victimization is really a close cousin to self-pity. It's like I can't do anything. I'm kind of stuck here. But what I've found is the people who get out of self-pity and the people who build and live a life that counts, they take some type of action, maybe only a small step. They call and ask somebody to help them to do something or to go out with a meal or make a plan for them to, to uh, move ahead in their life, but they actually take action. So I found that self-pity will definitely sabotage building and living a life that counts, and I hope these three things are helpful for you. If I can help you build and live a life that counts, uh, here's two things you can do. In the links below, one is to a free about 13 page ebook that talks about five steps to building and living a life that counts. And the second one is actually a link to a free coaching consultation that I'd love to talk with you about any way I can help. Thanks. Hey, together, let's build and live a life that counts.